<laughs> Some people think I have an obsession with collecting pillows. <laughs> it's... <clears throat> I guess it is a bit of a problem. So at some point, all of us have had a collection of something, like human teeth. <laughs> that was a weird point in my life. No, but really though, collections can be awesome. It gives us something to work towards, it's fun, and it can also be an investment because sometimes those things are worth serious money. But not all collections are simple, like stamps, coins, and cards. Mm -mm. No, some are rather unsettling. So of course, today, I've assembled a list of some of the strangest collections out there, and I assure you, these really do exist. So get ready, because here they are. 10 disturbing collections people actually have. Number one is a two-headed animal collection. Todd Ray from Venice Beach, California has a personal zoo of 22 bizarre creatures, all of which have two heads. He even has a turtle with three heads, for which of course he gave each head a name, Myrtle, Squirtle, and Thirtle. Todd, who is also a Grammy Award winning producer, has spent over $150,000 to grow his collection, which includes multiple breeds of snakes, tortoises, two bearded dragons, and even a goat. Not one to keep his collection to himself, he joined the Venice Beach Freak Show where the whole world gets to view these living oddities. Just be careful if you go there not to feed the goat because I heard that the left head has a biting problem. <laughs> Number two is an armored vehicle collection. Jacques Littlefield from Portola Valley, California has had a lifelong obsession with military vehicles. When he was a child, he would build plastic models. In college, he assembled a life-size tank that was operational via remote control. Then, at 26, he obtained his first full-size military vehicle, a World War II era M3 scout car, and from there, he was hooked. He grew his armored vehicle collection to 220 vehicles in total, including 70 tanks, and keeps them all at his home in California. Probably not the type of neighbor you want to get upset, you know, he's not very stable. Hey, you took my newspaper! Oh god, here comes the drone after you, or should I send the tank? Oh, something's coming for you. Number three is the Chewed Gum Collection. Barry Chappelle quit smoking in 2006 after the birth of his daughter, a noble gesture. He began chewing nicotine gum to help him with his cravings, but during one airline flight, he had nowhere to dispose of the pieces once he'd finished, so he began rolling them into a ball. Six years and 92,500 pieces of gum later, he had collected them into a whopping 79 kilogram gumball for which he received a Guinness World Record. That is quite the accomplishment, and I'm proud of him for quitting cigarettes, but this is, this is unnecessary and really unsanitary. It's, I'm gonna vomit. Number four is the Dalek Collection. Rob Hull from Doncaster, England is another Guinness World Record holder for his collection of Daleks. Now, if you're a fan of the long-running TV show Doctor Who, you probably know what a Dalek is. They're an extraterrestrial race of mutants with evil intent, which live inside robotic shells similar to that of human-sized pepper shakers. Rob has been obsessed with these robots since his youth and over his lifetime has collected more than 1,200 different variations of these toys. What could be the strangest twist in this story though is that He's not even a fan of the show Doctor Who, he just likes the Daleks. His wife isn't too happy about his obsession either, as they have taken over their house with one standing almost two meters in height. That's probably enough to exterminate a marriage? Exterminate? Exterminate? Number five is the airline barf bag collection. Dutch collector Nick Vermeulen has over 6,290 airsick bags from over 1,191 different airlines and almost 200 countries. He's been collecting them since the 1970s after him and a friend made a bet to see who could accumulate the most of any one item to set a world record. Nick and his family embark on multiple international flights each year, harvesting sick bags along the way. Even his friends aid Nick by bringing him the most unusual barf bag specimens that they come across in their travels. Ah, but his favorite bag is an air sickness bag from the NASA Space Shuttle Columbia, which spent 16 days in outer space. Space Barf, the final frontier. Number six is a foot fetish photo collection. Doug Gaines from Cleveland, Ohio knows what he likes, and he likes it a lot. 
maybe a little too much. He is a fearless champion of the foot fetish and started the foot fraternity in 1985, which now boasts over 4,000 brothers. Doug loves everything to do with feet and footwear. In fact, his closets are overflowing with boots, sneakers, and even pumps. But by far the most impressive thing is that he has collected over five million photos of different feet. On top of all of this, he's also obsessed with the smell of the foot. He actually captures this essence in dirty socks that he then ziplocks away to keep the odor locked in. So if you ever visit this guy, make sure you keep your shoes on because he will be all up in your toe jam. Number seven is the belly button lint collection. These people just keep getting more messed up to do do. 45 year old librarian Graham Barker from Perth, Australia has been collecting his own belly button fluff for over 30 years. <laughs> Back in 1984, he noticed some lint had gathered in his navel and became intrigued, wondering how much a person could produce in their lifetime. The amount of fluff that he finds in his navel each night depends on the type of clothes he'd been wearing that day, but he has noticed that some thermal underwear is the most productive. Huh. Each night, he takes whatever he could find lodged in his belly button and stores it in a clay jar, and he's close to completing his fourth, for which he has earned himself a spot in the Guinness World Record books. Mostly because he's the only guy holding onto this stuff. Uh, I'm done. Number eight is the Celebrity Hair Collection. John Resnikoff from Fairfield, Connecticut is the owner of the world's most expansive collection of famous and historical figures' locks of hair. Don't worry, he didn't collect them by running around Hollywood with a pair of scissors. Some of his most prized pieces include Abraham Lincoln, Edgar Allan Poe, Albert Einstein, John F. Kennedy, George Washington, Napoleon, and even Marilyn Monroe. Okay, yes, this one is clearly very creepy, but when they figure out cloning, he's sitting on a gold mine. Think about it. Number nine is a penis collection. Dicks! Sigador Hjartsasson, a former teacher from Iceland, has a strange hobby of collecting penises from different types of species. He opened a museum to showcase his collection in 1997, showcasing almost 300 penises. It includes, prepare yourself for this, 17 different types of whale, one specimen taken from a rogue polar bear, 36 specimens belonging to seven different types of seal and walrus, and 115 specimens originating from 26 different types of land mammals. <laughs> oh, and if you're curious if there have ever been any human donors, you bet there have, four to be exact. Oh man. And number 10, the Love Doll Collection. 60 year old Bob Gibbons and his wife Lizzie have a collection of 240 different types of love dolls that can be found all over their quaint home in rural England. Bob acquired his first silicone doll, Beverly, in 2007 for $4,000. This purchase sparked a newfound obsession for him for which he went out and acquired everything from cheap blow-up dolls to realistic silicone ones that move and talk. All in all, Bob and Lizzie estimate that they've spent around, I need to brace myself for this, $160,000. Bob says that he's never used one of his girls in a sexual manner. That's even weirder. He does admit that he finds most of them attractive, but considers them members of his family. Okay, list done. The weirdness is off the charts. Goodbye. And that, my friends, was the 10 weirdest, most disturbing collections that people actually have. What the hell is wrong with people? But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to click that red subscribe button to be notified of future videos on my channel. On the right, you'll find an annotation to my last video, as well as an annotation to my second channel, where I make daily vlogs and much more. You'll also find an annotation to my merch store where you can pick up shirts, hoodies, wristbands, whatever else you want. Lots of cool stuff in there. And of course, for all of you watching on your phone or tablet, all of the links I just mentioned will be in the description below. I love you guys and I will see you next video with hopefully a little bit less mentally disturbing content. Peace. Ah.